All set? Okay. Brett here, live in the WGWE studios, and I have 10 of the 40 members of the cast of Elf Jr., the musical, here in the studio with me. Good afternoon, guys and girls. How's it going today? It's going great. How Pretty about good. yourself? Pretty good. Dandy. Dandy. Very good. <laughs> yeah, that's All right. right. Good to hear. Yeah, not too shabby. Not too shabby. All righty. <laughs> so, um, why don't you introduce yourself? A little bit more. Uh, of course, we did the liners here a second ago that we're going to use as part of our promotional piece for your musical coming up. Um, but just uh, take us through the process. Now, how long have you been working on the musical? Oh, we've been working on it for what I'd say like two, two and a half months. months. Two yeah. and a half months about this point. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun experiences. Um, done a couple shows in the past, but none of them are quite like this one. Let me tell you. Is this your first play? Uh, uh, no, I've actually. Uh, you may have seen me. Um, I did uh, Circus Olympus in the high school last year, uh, as well as Spelling Bee last year in high school. And um, this summer, I did Shrek Junior at high school as well, and I was Eugene in Greece at the Ravens Theater. That's fantastic. That uh, explains why you're so comfortable talking in front of a microphone. Yeah. Right? <laughs> That's awesome. Now, um, guys, girls, what else uh, can we expect from the show? I see that there are some elf packs. Now, can you tell me a little bit about these elf packs that people can purchase? Right. Now, um, the elf pack is... Uh, Combo deal it comes with a shirt, a ticket for the show, and popcorn, popcorn and water. And water. Please, else do it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name and who do you play? Uh, I'm Cameron Pratt and I play Fake Santa. Fake Santa? Yeah, the one in the Macy scene where. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, what's your experience been like? Uh, it's been great. Uh, uh, with all the little kids coming in, not little kids, but like the Seneca Intermediate students coming in as well, coming up with like the high school students. It's been fun like teaching them what to do so that they can come up and take our spots when they become older. So you're kind of a seasoned veteran too? Yeah, well, sort of. So <laughs> I've done like three or four shows in the past. Oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Now, uh, as far as the whole teaching experience goes, are you finding it hard to kind of corral all the kids to participate or? Uh, yeah, it can be sometimes <laughs> because they can get off track easily but like if we like focus if we get them focused then we can like hammer down some stuff and we can work well uh, yeah, I, I can understand that 100 <laughs> percent so uh, i have two young boys at home and it's next to impossible to get them to do anything but i saw a lot of nodding heads with that uh so <laughs> we agree yeah <laughs> so uh who's up next I'm Rainy Smith and I play Charlotte Denon. I think you're gonna have to do that one more time. I'm Rainy Smith and I play Charlotte Denon. What is? Oh, Charlotte. She's um. The news reporter. The news reporter. Mm -hmm. Okay. At the very end. Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, how, how have you enjoyed playing that role? It's really fun. First time? Yeah, scary. You've never done anything like this. Nope. You had some good teachers to help you out along the way, though. Yeah. Or they. Uh, do they mess with you and kind of pick on you and stuff? Uh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she actually had to fill in the part for a different character who wasn't able to do it. Oh, wow. So, so that deserves a lot of credit. That's a tough thing to do. Um, <laughs> what are you looking forward to most about the show? Being your first time and everything, mm -hmm. what are you hoping to uh, experience with this Elf Junior? Just having fun and making friends and... All that cheesy stuff. All the cheesy. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the stuff you remember, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully, you'll get a starring role next year, and I you don't, don't quit. <laughs> 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 like, what do you think about next year? Who else? Uh, who else would like to talk a little bit about that? <laughs> yeah, definitely. We'll get them all in. Yeah. Um, I'm Grace Papke. I play Emily Hobbs in the show. Yeah, go ahead and just remember, you can get that to a comfortable level, too. I'm Grace Papke. I play Emily Hobbs in the show. Emily is, of course, the main girl in the yeah. show, right? Buddy's mom. Buddy's mom. Mm -hmm. Oh. Stepmom. Okay, Step -mom. Buddy's stepmom. All right. Who's the one that's in the singing and everything with Buddy? Oh, that would be Jovi. But okay. She, he's not here today. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen Elf, yeah. which I, I should probably brush up on it because it is the theme of our WGWE Christmas party as well. So, uh, What's your experience been like participating? It's been a lot of fun. I mean, it's kind of stressful at sometimes, but you just kind of have to learn to work through it all. Getting your homework done? Yeah. Yeah? Nope. Not, no. What? No. No. <laughs> this is going on the record, by the way. I mean, listen to Henry. Miss Hoffman. He, he's her brother. He would know. <laughs> I, I see him more Luke is like, I got stories. <laughs> awesome. Anything uh, you'd like to say to listeners out there? No. 
<laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> All right, that works too. Next. Hi, I'm Sorry. Brandon Molinowski, and I play Buddy the Elf in the show. You look like a very outgoing young man who <laughs> has no problem on the stage. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Very, very shy. <laughs> I can tell. I can tell. Uh, you know, Will Ferrell, those are some pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah, I mean, I I like a lot of his movies and stuff, so like I've definitely been watching and seeing, like, like I watched the movie a few times before, and it's very, like, helpful watching it and understanding, like, how the character has to develop and how it has to be. So you've been taking notes, watching everything from Anchor to Man, Anchor Man to yeah. uh, things <laughs> like that. Definitely, yeah. Nice. You're a student of Will Ferrell. Definitely. You have to uh, brush up on your drumming too. Maybe mm -hmm. just a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Drum off with. I don't know about. If we can get Chad Smith in here, but we can maybe <laughs> find a lookalike for you to do a drum off with. I say that it would probably be a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this your first starring role then? Um. No, uh, I've been in drama club since seventh grade, and last year I had a big role. And also in the summer, I played Donkey in Shrek Junior. Oh, that's and, a big role too. And I played, um, I played Duty in uh, Greece. He's uh, one of the main <coughs> two birds. Okay, <laughs> I've never made it through Greece. My wife keeps trying to get me to watch it. I can't do it. Well, I mean, I feel like it's a lot different uh, on stage than it is in the movie just because you can actually see how other people have an how to interpret it. And that's the good part about a lot of musicals is like everyone has different interpretations of how they could develop a role. So that's why it's good to watch like a show like Elf Live. You can see how it is different from the movie. Sure, sure. I can understand that. Well, congratulations on your starring role in Thank Elf. Thank you. And good luck. Anybody else uh, like to step up? Mr. <coughs> B? Oh, no, I'm, I'm at the beast. Oh, you're not, <laughs> you're, oh I'm sorry. Hi, I'm Hi, I'm Hi, Scott. Scott. If, if I was going off of... Uh, uh, but I didn't call you Mr. Wilder. He's a producer, though. Okay. Everyone else is here, too. He's getting all of So, my name is Mr. Chemnitzer, and I am the director and drama club advisor for this production of Elf Jr. What's it been like? This is um, not your first show. Oh no, not at all. I've been <laughs> I've been doing direction for about thirteen years vocally. Um, it's been <laughs> it's been great working with these guys, and I could say I'm truly impressed. Uh, they love making me laugh. This is great. Um, they they have actually been really impressive. They've made it to rehearsals. We've had a big turnout for drama club, and it's probably one of the biggest clubs I'd say that you guys have had. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those things that doesn't get enough credit. Uh, of course, everybody knows the amount of work that goes into making a sports team work. But the difference, I think, with live drama and music and, and things of that nature is that it's always changing. Uh, there's always a different set of circumstances. There's always a different set of uh, parameters. Um, and this is a big production again. Is this is is this the biggest cast you've had so far? Or? Um, it's it's close to it. Um, in the future, like we want to um, apply for Kenny's, we want to be competitive with other big schools, and we're really treating this show like we would do a full show. Um, um, you guys know that we've been building these big sets, and I'm big on making it, making it as big as possible. Um, yeah. So I like to do a lot of scene changes. I like to make sure the lights are great, the sound is good, the kids sound good. Um, uh, Scott Bean, our producer, actually, um, he's producing the show. He's going to be the uh, conductor, or the pit conductor, or pit director for our spring show. And we're actually, here's a little plug, we're doing Oliver in the spring. Nice. Um, but, so you'll see him in the pit, but we really want to make it an all-around experience for the whole music department. That'll be fantastic. I know the community is looking forward to yet another terrific production by the Salamanca Drama Club. And please stay in touch with us when Oliver comes around in the springtime as well. And we'll do whatever we can to help out as well. We look forward to seeing everybody at the show. Uh, thank you very much for stopping in. Sure. Uh, my name's Luke Pepke and I play Walter Hobbs. Walter Hobbs, you're kind of the mean one of the movie then. Ooh. Yes, sir. The Grinch. <laughs> well, I know it's all an act anyway, right? Yeah, I yeah. can't really be mean. You seem like a genuinely nice guy. So. I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, well, as a sibling, you're going to have a different perspective too. I'm sure my siblings could say the same. <laughs> Uh, is this your first time? Yes, this is my first year. Okay, cool. Uh, how's your experience been so far? Uh, it's been pretty fun. Uh, kind of nerve-wracking and stuff, but my friends and stuff are getting me through it. 
a lot of help and support from your friends and community as well. Yeah. I hope it's not the last time. No, definitely not the last time. Cool, Just cool. the first. Well, congratulations, and again, good luck to all of you. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Colin Busky, and I play the narwhal, and I also do spotlight up in the top. Oh, that, so. that's important as well. Cool. Yeah. That's, a, that's all the stuff that people don't get credit for, and they should, because, uh, you know, without that, without a good sound guy, it's just going to fall flat, right? Yeah, yeah. kind of need him, because or else you're not going to see. Because the narwhal, if I'm not mistaken, if I remember the movie correctly, the narwhal is just at the beginning of the movie, right? Yeah. yeah as yeah. he's leaving the North Pole. Yeah, and then I tap him on the shoulder and he doesn't see me. How do, you, how do you tap him on the shoulder? With your tusk or? <laughs> My fin. <laughs> oh, do you fin? Okay, I, I tap, thought it was. I could do the horn. Like, I'm imagining short little fins, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, you might not want to tap so him with a horn. You don't want to impale anybody, you know? I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations and good luck to you as well, young man. Thanks. Thanks. Boy, Jordan, what do you do, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. Jordan. like fake Jordan. customer Jordan. testimonials. Like, like, wow, Jordan. I sure am excited to see this play. Oh, the one you were trying the high. Very deck, last huh? one. Hi, I'm Jordan Nichols, and I play Chadwick in the play. Hey, Chadwick. Now, what role is Chadwick? Uh, I, I'm not. He's, I'm, he's like <laughs> one of the businessmen. Okay. In the boardroom, yeah, with Mr. Hobbs, mm -hmm. that has to witness Buddy acting the fool. Okay, yeah. now I remember. Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> Is this your first time in the drama club? No, it's my second play. Okay, cool. Oh, well, congratulations! And any big lines or tomatoes? Tomatoes. 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 You're the tomato. Okay. Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope uh, you all continue with it, and best of luck. We're going to try and bring the family out for it as well. Check it out. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>